Welcome to Synopsys Labs. Today I'm here to show you the performance of Synopsys Gen 5 PCI Express IP. Here I've got the receiver jitter tolerance set up. It's calibrated to the 5.0 version of the spec, release 1.0. And we've got a Keysight BERT 8040 set up with the impairments that the test requires. Common mode interference, differential mode interference, random jitter, periodic jitter, and sinusoidal jitter. It's transmitting through the cables into an ISI channel. This is the PCI Express Gen 5 base RX calibration fixture to make up the 36 dB of loss that's required per the spec. As we come out of that, we go into the synopsis test fixture and into the receiver of our Phi IP. All right, let's go look and see how we perform under the stress condition. What I'm showing here is the calibration result from running CSIM. We're showing a 36 dB loss channel at 16 gigahertz. Now I'll go to the BERT software, which shows all the impairments are currently on. So we've got the stressed eye conditions going into the receiver of the Phi. All right, let's see how we perform. So now I'll go to our Phi software. I'll synchronize to the incoming signal and I'll check the error counter. No errors. Excellent. Let's insert an error and see that the setup is valid. We'll go back to the BERT software. I'll click on the insert error to insert an error into the line. And we'll go back to the PHI software and check that that error was detected. There it is. Great. PHI is performing in a stressed eye uh, calibration setup. But let's go and see the margin we have. To see the margin, we're going to sweep the SJ frequencies and find the margin at each SJ frequency to the spec, which will be the dashed line. Here we go. It'll sweep through, finding at each SJ frequency the performance for that SJ frequency. The dotted line represents the spec that we have to meet. There you have it. Passing performance to Gen 5 release 1.0 of the specification. Let's go look at transmitter performance. Now we are walking through the transmitter setup where we're going to look at uh, performance. I have here the five fixture board where we have multiple lanes running, an external loopback, and a single lane going to the scope. This is to enable the maximum noise situation. On the Keysight Infinium Z-Series scope, we're looking at a 32 gigabits transmitter signal from our Phi. You see a nice wide open eye. The compliance pattern is what's coming in. But that's one measure. A nice open eye is great. We want to see that the Phi meets jitter performance to the spec. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to capture the waveform. And I'm going to open the PCI SIG software SIG test that's used to measure the electrical parameters. So we'll run the test and show that we are a pass. We're passing the jitter requirements needed to meet the spec and we've got excellent performance. Now you've seen the transmitter and receiver performance for our Designware Phi IP for PCI Express 5.0. It's meeting the release 1.0 of the base specification. Thank you for watching.